Did you know that the Romans took vacations? And what were they like? Our records show that the lower classes typically took staycations or made short excursions which might involve staying at an inn, going to a spa, or simply spending some time with relatives outside the city. The wealthy, on the other hand, had far greater plans. Many owned one or more elaborate villas located across Italy. These featured incredible works of architecture and landscaping, including massive fountain aquariums. The vacation estates of the emperors were even more insane, with eight-story sea views, custom grotto pools, and hundreds of acres of property. Days on vacation were surprisingly familiar, with mentions of ball games and sand castles at the beach. Pliny the Younger actually recorded how his vacations in Tuscany were filled with lazy days of sleeping, reading, and horseback riding. But for those truly looking to live it up, they could head to party towns along the coast like Bay, which was apparently the Miami of its day, known interchangeably as the vortex of luxury and the harbor of vice. Stay tuned for a full episode on Roman vacations.